Hi Wasabis! This is Truby from Couch Wasabi. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to make your own oil infusions. Just like this. So if this is something that you'd want to learn about, please keep watching. So oil infusions are very helpful when you are preparing your own, for example, body oils or massage oils or most often than not people usually make their own oil infusions for soap preparation so it's really easy to make your own soap especially when you already know how to make it from oil to soap by cold process but what makes a great soap is the good preparation and the mindfulness or the thought behind it and today I'll be teaching you how you can infuse your oils with all these botanicals available to make your soap from good to great. Alright? So, this is one of the infusions that we have made recently. We, meaning my sister and I, have made recently. If you're not yet familiar, we have a small company called Catycorn Dreams. I'll put it down here so you can check it out. So, Catycorn Dreams is a company that makes small batch of bath and body products, also home products. And we are focused on giving the most personalized and tailor-fitted products for everyone. So recently, we are very much into oil infusion. And this is just rose buds infused in olive oil. Okay? It looks so glorious, I swear. And um, this has been steeping for about, I think, two to three weeks. smells a faint hint of roses and then you just keep it tightly shut for four to six weeks so that your base oils can get into all the constituents of your botanicals okay so for today you will be needing these airtight jars glass jars I like getting the one that has Fido brand on it. I get these from Gordo's. If you've seen my last vlog, I posted my shopping, um, a little shopping segment of me buying these airtight glass jars. So I like to buy them in all sorts of sizes because you tend to prepare these oil infusions as close to the amount that you need. You don't want to be over preparing too much oils because you'd have to use these as soon as possible. Alright? So I ha I do have them in these, I think this is 4 ounce container. Um, it's not really written on the jar. But when you buy these, there is a label and then it's written size. So I do have them in these small containers. And then I also like buying this size of container. This is about 700 mils, I believe. 700 mils, or I think size 8. There's a size um, indicator up there. This is only 185 pesos from Gordo. So I, I, I think that it's really cheap. I like buying Fido brand because I like the hardware. Niya. See, it doesn't chip off. I was able to buy another one. So this is the one I got from SM. Fido is made in Italy, so you know the quality is really nice. This one is made from Indonesia. I try to stay away from things made in China. Um, what I'm very proud of about our brand is that we are very meticulous in picking all our ingredients, even all our machines, even all our supplies and tools and everything. So, kahit yung sa lalagyan, up to the lalagyan, we are very particular about it. So I really like getting stuff na that's not really made in China as much as possible or I'm sure that it has good quality, right? So this is from Italy, so you know the quality is amazing. And then this one is made in Indonesia. So this is a lot cheaper. This is a 1.5 liter capacity and it's really huge. And this is only 199 so it's 200 pesos. Cheap, ito, 185 paliit lang. Alright, um, this is my only jar of the Fido because I just want to try and buy it. But the only thing I don't like about this is that the hardware is coated. Which means 
it will chip off in in time you know natatanggal na meron nang mga parang black na natanggal na yung parang chrome coating niya you know kasi the more you use it there's friction and all that matatanggal and it will look ugly in time so yun lang ang ayaw ko dito if you're looking into something na parang these are glass jars it can last you a lifetime unless mabasag so you know buy a good quality ano na get fido na you can get this from gordos you can get some in other sizes from SM Department Store. I've seen some, but I, I just get mine from Gordos. Okay, so this is also an option. But to stay away na lang from the thin ones, because I've seen these kind of jars, pero maninipis, and pangit yung hardware niya. You have to choose something that's really tight shut when closed. Tapos yung hindi nagmamalfunction yung ano niya, yung closure niya. Because I've had those, yung mga maligitas nakakainis yung closure niya, yung mabilis ma-deform and everything too. So, you try to stay away from those. Okay? Kasi in making your oil infusions, you have to make sure that everything is sealed tight in order to prevent molds from growing in it. So, it's very important that you get a really good jar, a really good jar with really good hardware. So, yan. This is a cheaper option. And then, I also have... So, this is about 285 pesos and this is size 29. I think my size is talaga siya sa taas. Hindi ko lang alam. So, this is also a Fido brand. I also got this from Gordos. I know I've shown you like watermark shop. I know I've shown this to you when I was buying them in my last vlog. So yeah. And then later I will show you some of our current oil infusions. But for today I'll be infusing with you my favorite. I'm really excited for this. So this one. Today I'll be sharing with you how to infuse yarrow in your hemp seed oil. As you may know, my sister has started her own soap company called Lish Artisanal Soaps. Don't forget to follow her on Instagram because she makes all these mindfully prepared, handcrafted soaps. When I say mindfully prepared, talagang before we come out with a batch of soap, we check through their ingredients list, we check through each botanical's skin benefits before we concoct a specialized soap for the customer or for the client. Um, we've had a couple of orders which we are very thankful for because of the support and we would like to invite you to check it out please because we try to source all these unique oils and all these hard to find ingredients so that we can give the best for you. Alright, so today I'll be working with hemp seed oil. As you may or may not know, hemp seed oil is really good for the skin. Um, my grandfather has this parang autoimmune skin issue na hindi siya ma-cure. We've bought everything on Mercury Drug. Lahat ng pang eczema, lahat ng pang psoriasis, lahat ng pang skin asthma binili na namin. Facial gel, Elica, lahat ng brand na masasabi ng dermatologist. We've bought everything and we've tried it on his skin. Nagiging dry and scaly kasi yung dito niya. Um, nothing, was, nothing has worked on him. So, I tried to make my own essential oil concoction on him using hemp seed oil. And then I added lavender, I added frankincense, and I added a little of tea tree oil. And then, yun yung ginamit niya na pang apply as a body oil. And yun lang yung nagustuhan niya. Kasi it has effectively stopped the itch on his body. Ang so, parang ang nangyayari kasi, sobrang nangangati siya. And it's very uncomfortable. At nagsusugat-sugat na siya. It's, it's kind of it's kind of sad because parang all that it's just too much for for a senior you know for an old person. So yun I'm really glad that the hemp oil really worked on him and that's why I fell in love with the hemp seed oil. So hemp seed oil is not really um, locally available in the Philippines although I've seen some sellers on Shopee so you may have your hands on them and this is one of the brands that you can buy from Shopee. I normally use plant therapy, but for today, I want to try the yung kung ano yung locally available so that you guys can also work on it too, right? And we have already made our first batch of hemp seed soap kasi meron na nag-order, so I'm really happy for that. And today, I will be sharing with you how we make our hemp seed oil infusion for our next batch of soap. Okay, so at all today, I will be using Swanson Certified Organic Hemp Seed Oil. When you are choosing your oil base, 
try to as much as possible choose your cold press kasi cold press is the process na parang hindi siya remember your oils are always destroyed by heat and sunlight so you always try to keep them away from those two components and oxygen kaya gusto mong parang airtight siya parate all right so today i'll be working on this this is only um 12 fluid ounce so that's only a little less 400 ml i will be using na lang this one kasi this is i think 750 ml so perfecto and then yeah so let's get on with the preparation all right so for today i'll be dealing with yarrow so if you're not familiar with yarrow Yarrow is one of the most powerful natural astringent. So it helps your skin heal, it helps your skin's inflammation to subside, and it's a really good botanical or herb for your skin, especially when you're acne prone, especially when you have hormonal acne. That's why I'm actually preparing this because I want to try it also. Tapos, here are the other herbs that I can share with you that we have. Okay, so I also have chamomile. This is really gentle on the skin. If you have skin asthma, if you have flare-ups, chamomile is really, really amazing. You also have hibiscus. So I'm excited to use this soon. I just ko lang yung mga special oils to arrive. We actually source our oils abroad just to be able to give you like the best quality soaps. Okay, and then we also have calendula, which is also amazing for the skin. It's soothing, it's really gentle and really nice. And then rosebuds, because rosebuds, it's super pampering. As in, it makes your skin soft. This one with milk, amazing soap. And of course, lavender. Who can forget lavender, right? Alright, so for today, I would like to work on yarrow because I know you haven't heard of this. This is something very unique and the only reason that I was able to get introduced to this is because of my school. Because I studied in school. So I sourced it and I was able to finally bring it here. And I wanted to mix it with or infuse it with my hemp seed oil because I want to... Um, get to know the effect and the benefits of these two combined. So that's the main purpose of your oil infusion. If you want to amp up your oil, your base oil, into something richer in regards to benefits. So yeah, if you are preparing, like if you are an oiler, no, if you're not a soaper but you are an oiler, I'm sure you can make use of this video because if you're preparing your massage oils or even your oil blends, this is very, very helpful. For any topical use, you can prepare your own oil infusions with your botanicals. Alright? So, let me just put in some yarrow in my jar. I like storing my herbs in uh, this plastic container. Lang. Basta they're tightly shut them. So, just put a cup or two in a glass container, mo, sa jar. Mo. I like eyeballing it. So, a good range is one-third of the lalagyan. Yan. So, this is about a third of the container, right? You don't have to fill it up to the brim. Remember that. You just have to fill it up up to here, yung container mo. So, you can add a little more. Pwede mo siyang punuin. Or pwede nga, yan, one-third lang. You can add a little more if you like. It smells like dried plants. <laughs> it's not that fragrant, but... We're not really after for its fragrance kasi we are after for the skin benefit. Okay, so and then I'm gonna be pouring my hemp seed oil. This is new. Bago lang yan. It's sealed pa. Um, I just ordered this off from shop because I wanted to try something that's locally available. So, sealed pa siya. Let me just take off the seal. Although I have a couple more hemp seed oils from other brands that's coming in because I want to experiment also on different brands. I The first bottle that I had is from Plant Therapy which works really amazingly. I also use it on my... Um, the thing with me because when I'm stressed or I don't know, my body sort of comes out with these um, parang blister ganyan. So, it's stress induced. Kaya I always have hemp seed oil also with me. May blend ako parate. 
that I also shared in my Instagram. If you want to check it out, just follow me on Happy Oiler page. So you can check out some of the things that I'm busy with on that Instagram account. Alright, so now that I have opened my hemp seed oil, it's time to pour it here. So, ganun lang. Just pour your oil straight sa botanical or to any herb that you like. You can use fresh herbs. People have done that. It's just that, nakikita nyo nagbabubbles. Yan. So, you want to make sure na mawala yung bubbles later on. So, let me just let this drip. Yan. Oops na siya actually. So, binili ko siya for this infusion talaga. Alright, as I was saying, you can use fresh herbs. There's no problem with that. People have done that. It's just that you need a little more special handling. And for beginners, I would highly suggest for you to get dried herbs or yung parang tea. T standard or T grade herbs. So you can find these, like some of these, on Shopee. Most of these actually, makikita mo you like calendula is very common. Rose buds and lavender are very common. Chamomile, I think, is a little common, but yarrow is not. So I'm inviting everyone to check out Lish Artisanal Soaps. So that is where we will put in all those um, soap supplies and oils and herbs that we will try to bring in yung mga unique na herbs that we will try to bring in so that you guys will be able to enjoy them. Okay? So, ayan. More or less, ubus na siya. Wala nang tumutulo. This is only about 500 ml less. So, you know, we don't really expect a lot from this. I mean, for sure, ubus na ito. And, I have here a stainless steel chopstick na pinunasan ko muna with tissue and alcohol. Kasi, this is gonna be the one that you're using to stir it, stir the mixture. Yeah. So, you wanna be stirring it for a couple of minutes. Nahaluin mo lang siya to make sure na mawala lahat ng air pockets. Yeah. Pag binuhos nyo yung oil mo for the first time, you will see na merong mga bubbles na akyat. Those are air pockets and you want to be able to remove those. Kasi, you want to seal it off with as little oxygen as possible so that walang mga microorganisms or mold na magrow in it. Also, that's the reason why you have to sterilize your containers first, meaning you wash it with soap and water, and then when it's fully dried, kailangan na air dry siya, you wipe it down with alcohol first before you put your oils and your herbs in it. Kasi you want to be able to minimize yung mga... I mean, you know, these are herbs, so molds may have a possibility to grow in it. So we try to eliminate or reduce that risk by using like a well-sealed jar and everything is sterilized para hindi siya magmold. Actually, yun yung parang bubu ng mga nag infuse ng oil. Either hindi nila nasara ng ayos or hindi na sterilized ng ayos, yung preparation is not that good. Kaya nasisira yung buong batch. And when that happens, it's a little sayang kasi you're gonna be throwing everything. You can't prepare anything with something that has mold in it, right? It's, it's not good. Come on. <laughs> so, yan. So, I like stirring it a little. Make sure that there's no air pockets in it. And when I'm done, like this, para lang masimot yung oil. Okay, set this aside. And then, make sure to seal it well, like this. Okay. Now, this is the reason why I like Fido, because it's so Fido, you know, it's super sealed shut, as in, you can see. Um, and then, there are two ways to keep this. Either you put it on my windowsill, sa may tabi ng bintana, so that the sun can shine through it and all that. But kasi, if you are preparing it with a specialized oil, um, usually, hindi sila pwede um, sa tapat ng sunlight. Like hemp. Most of the hemp seed oil that I buy is in amber container, which means it's kind of sensitive from sunlight. So you'd want to keep this, because this is hemp oil, you'd want to keep this somewhere like inside a cabinet, or you know, somewhere na walang araw. And then you would let it steep for four to six weeks, meaning parang marinate mo siya for four to six weeks so that the oil will be able to get through all the skin-loving benefits to herb, may hila niya palabas, and mahukuha niya from the herb. Yeah. 
So, ganito na siya. Then, let me just store it in my rack. Like, may, meron kami yung shelf where we put all our oil infusion na hindi sila nasisinagan ng araw kasi we like to prepare them um, in that way. Cold infusion kaysa sa yung nilalagay sa araw. But you can definitely do, especially if yung oil base mo, dumating sa yun na naka transparent na container. Alright? So, let me just get back to you and I'll get some of our oil infusions to show you. Alright, so here are some of my oil infusions currently. So, this is my rose in olive oil infusion. This is our lavender in olive oil infusion. This is what we've made earlier. So, this is yarrow in hemp seed oil. And this is my favorite. Kaya ang laki -laki niya kasi I want to be able to work on it more. So, I used a 200 ml. I think this is 200 ml or 2 liter. I'm not really sure. You just have to check yung nasa Gordos, yung biggest nila. Ito yung biggest size ng Gordos. This is about 285 pesos. Wala na yung price niya. It's 285 pesos. It's really huge. It's perfect for LME resin. So, this is my favorite. This is like my, my precious from Bicol, which is gifted to me by one of my students in my workshop. So, thank you so much, Ida, for this. I'm so happy for this Elemi oil. She gifted me with a 500, half a kilo, actually. Half a kilo of Elemi oil. I'm really very thankful and grateful for the people I meet through my workshops, because they're such a blessing. I mean, come on. This is super duper glorious. Um, I infused it with extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, ganyan siya. It's kind of yellow. It's really pretty cool. Tapos, when you open it, this has been in here for a week pa lang. Or maybe less. I think a week pa lang. Um, and it's really fragrant. As in, it super smells like Elimi. I'm super excited to work on this and turn this into soap. I just keep everything tightly closed and when you we have to check them every day actually or parang week per week kasi parang mga babies mo sila you'd want to marinate them properly and well and then whenever you see condensation sa taas if my condensation luckily yung akin wala naman with my condensation you have to wipe it down with tissue na may alcohol Yan. Kasi sa condensation, dun nagagaling yung mga molds and you know, whatever um, unwanted growth na ayaw natin sa infusion natin. So, whenever you see condensation, you just have to wipe it down with alcohol, so with soft tissue, para mawala siya. And yun nga, even, even before using all these jars, you have to make sure that you clean them, you air dry them, you wipe them down with alcohol, para everything is amazing. So, this is one of the, itong dalawa, are one of the first infusions that we've made. These are about, I think, four weeks na siguro ito. So, we can actually take it off na from these jars and then um, filter them through cheesecloth or, you know, whatever. And then, para i-extract mo na siya, pipigain mo na yung herb, ihihiwalay mo na siya from the herb. Or, you can let it sit for two more weeks. So, four to six weeks usually yung parang steeping time niya. And then after that, you have to remove it and you have to make sure to use it. Use everything. Okay? So after the 4 to 6 weeks, tatanggalin mo na sila sa herbal infusion mo. Tatanggalin mo na dito sa jar na to. Pipagayin mo na yung herb. Tapos, kagamitin mo na siya either as a blend or as a soap. And then, ito, one week pa lang ito. I'm very sure of this. Kasi I was the one who prepared this. Itong dalawa, my sister was the one who prepared it. And then, this one kasi... Some um, people have told me that I should it. I actually made it that way because I poke it from time to time with my chopstick. Para <laughs> yung And then I also plan to kasi, um, top it up, top it up. So pag na harvest mo na ito, I'm gonna be topping it up with oil para unti unti ko siyang na extract. Um, and at, as of this rate, it smells really, really delicious. As in, ang bango niya, I swear. It's like, it's, it's the best, I swear. Oh, I love it so much. I'm so excited to use this and turn it as a soap. So, if you guys want to experience the soaps that we create using these oil infusions, don't forget to follow us on Lish Artisanal Soap. So, I'll put it down here. 
yan. Don't forget to give us a follow. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make your own oil infusions. It's super helpful. It's super amazing when you start to harvest your first oil infusion. Parang ang saya-saya niya kasi nakagawa ka ng something very, very skin loving and you know it can help someone it's really really amazing anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about oil handling if you want to learn more about crafting because we have so much in store for you for next year by the way don't forget to check out my linktree account so i put all my workshop schedules there and you can sign up as early as now for my Davao and Cebu workshop that's going to be happening on February 2019. I'm super excited to meet everyone down there. And yeah, I guess that's all for today. I hope to see you in my next video. And bye! Merry Christmas!